Welcome to our channel. In this episode, we take a windy drive west to the spectacular Hardangerfjord. We arrive just in time to see the apple blossoms in full bloom. Through tunnels in the mountains, six hours to buy our little retro caravan. I'm Erin from USA and this is my Norwegian husband Tommy. We live in Norway and love sharing scenes of this beautiful country and our life with you. Hope you enjoy our videos and remember to subscribe to our channel to help us grow. As promised from our last video, we wanted to show you a kite surfer that we observed during our picnic on the beach in Oslofjord. Give us a moment, getting out of my way. I was hiding, bulletproof, forever waiting, thinking I thought I was what I told I thought I was. I thought I was what I told I thought. Spin up the piece of yesterday's life in over my head, trying to figure it out. Norway's capital, Oslo, is very special because it is surrounded by nature. It is possible to fish in a fjord all year round, and we enjoy coming here because we love the ocean. Still a little cold for me to swim. But many find it rejuvenating to swim even in the icy cold water during the winter months. Hey Tommy! Hello! <laughs> nice yes, I'd love a cup of tea. Yep. Thank you. This is so beautiful. We're on a road trip. <laughs> We're heading west uh, to the fjords and to the mountains and we found a little camper that we're going to buy and fix up. Yep. It's, it's just an empty shell. Yeah, it's a retro little camper from 1987 and there's nothing inside. It's just, uh, like Tommy says, it's just a, a shell. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, we're crazy. We're going to drive about six hours to get to this place, and um, but we're excited, and uh, it's nice to get away. Here is the amazing scenic route that we decided to take, up in the mountains, then down to Hardangerfjord. Heading west, we drive up to Valdres and the scenery changes. We can see magnificent snow-topped mountains in the distance and we become quite accustomed to the narrow tunnels. Some of them are a bit hairy. Right through the mountain. so tight in here. It is tight. Now look at this road here. They sort of chiseled the road out from the mountain. So it's straight down to the lake here. Yeah. Oh. oh That's why cool. they're making that new tunnel over there. Look at this. Oh, the landscape is so impressive. As you can see, the lake on Tommy's left is still frozen as we climb up further into the mountains.
truck. <laughs> That's gonna be a mistake. <laughs> oh jeez. You might have to go out the push. <laughs> or so getting our little camper there are more than a thousand fjords in Norway all along the coast the fjords resemble still blue lakes but consist of salt water they are prolonged arms of the seas often reaching deep inland with majestic cliffs towering above on both sides There's probably a lot of avalanches here. Yeah. The moment of buyer's regret. <laughs> There's no key. <laughs> no, we knew what we were getting into with this one. After inspecting the wheels, lights, and chassis, we deemed the camper worthy of the road. It will be a long trip home, but Tommy is a very capable driver. We didn't even meet the woman selling the camper. Everything happened over the phone, and we transferred the camper into my name electronically. And we have our little cabbie behind us. There she is. Awesome. Cool bridge. We decided it's too beautiful here not to spend the night, so we found a lovely campground. Welcome to Hardanger Feria Center Campground. Here you can park your RV, caravan, or pitch a tent. There are even cabins available for rent. You can also rent rowing boats, boats for fishing and for trips, cars, and bicycles. Traveling east, it would take about an hour and a half from Bergen to reach this campsite in Hordanger.
<laughs> we seem to be having a problem getting the feet down on the on the camper. On the camper. It didn't come with a little tool to get these little feet down. But we managed to get her level. Ay 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 ay. Well, it's a blank canvas. Guess I have to do some spring cleaning. is more level so we're actually going to sleep in here tonight we brought uh, mattresses and blankets and pillows and a, <coughs> a space heater electric work so that's awesome <laughs> it's about the only thing that is <laughs> but it's going to be so great <laughs> show you the kitchen. Okay. Here's our kitchen. Hey, eh? Look how cute. Dee -dee -dee -dee. <laughs> <laughs> we actually have some burgers we're gonna fry up. We have? Mm-hmm. Huh. And this advanced kitchen. Oh, I love the seagulls. It's hot full. Okay, we'll have to grill the burgers fast then. <laughs> or we'll have to share our burger. One burger. Yeah. All right, let me go get the kitchen stuff. The kitchen bucket. Where's the kitchen bucket? So, Aaron, how's the kitchen working? <laughs> We're making entertainment here in the campground. <laughs> oh my god. It's working. It's working. It's melting the butter at least. Let's see if it'll. we have enough gas to cook the burgers all the way through. <laughs> Gourmet food. Yeah. Don't make me choke. <laughs> hmm? Mm, it's good. You can try. It works. Mm. <laughs>
Here is the English version of a famous Norwegian poem written by the poet Olav Hoge. It was a dream. We all carry with us this dream that something wonderful will happen, that it must happen, that time will open, that the heart will open, that doors will open, that cliffs will be opened, that springs will well forth, that the dream will be opened, that we one peaceful morning will glide in onto a bay we had not been aware of. here in uh, uh, and um, the sun is going down so it's getting a bit chilly so we put our jackets on I put my jacket on my winter jacket even though it's almost the first of May Are you making it homey? I'm making it homey. Totally this is the bedroom. Arrangements. Bed's massive suite. Uh-huh. And that's, um, so I'm assuming, the kitchen over there. Yeah, we're going to watch a film on the computer over here. And that's the bathroom, I assume. <laughs> yeah. It's nice. That's the only one. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, are you comfortable? Yeah, I found myself a foot dress. You did? I see this. It's a porta potty. It's a toilet. It's a multifunctional. So this is our uh, TV nook. This is our setup. It's the setup. It's sweet. Sweet. We get ready to watch Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Norwegians are proud of their apple production and especially apples from Hardanger. So what makes apples from Hardanger so unique? The farmers have handed down their secrets over generations. You can't simply put seeds down in the soil. This tradition is well protected. So much that today it is only apples with very specific qualities cultivated in Hardanger that can be called Hardanger apples. It has been said that it is the balance between sweetness and acidity that makes the apples from Hardanger so special. The reason for this balance is a combination of temperature, light and rich soil. A generally cold climate but with warm, long and bright summer days. It gives the fruit an aroma and acidity that has placed Hardanger on the apple map. Cool autumn nights and soil are the perfect condition that makes so many swear by these western jewels. Sweet and tangy, these crunchy apples are bursting with juicy flavor. Every season has its charm, but I look forward to the autumn and baking pies with juicy Hordanger apples. Now that I have experienced them in full bloom, maybe I will be lucky to pick them straight from the tree. Someday, you never know. So they have a space where you can put your trash and they made up this very nice area with the stones and there are like concrete picnic tables and you have a fancy toilet building and there is water, drinkable water that you can uh, fill your jugs or your, or your caravan It's so nice and the view, well, it must be the best view in the world. Right, Aaron? 
Yeah, it's gorgeous. Are you filming the bumblebees? Sun is shining. Oh, it feels so good in my face. There's hundreds of bumblebees yeah. uh, on this apple tree here. Apple trees are in full bloom. There's going to be hundreds of apples on just on these three, four, five trees here. And down here, there is a place where you can walk down and you can fish so they set it up so that you can fish from shore down there it's pretty it's beautiful and why i have my nose down in the camera <laughs> it's just looking at pictures it's it's amazing With its majestic mountains, fjords, streams, and waterfalls, Norway has become my home. In the north, you can experience natural wonders like the midnight sun and the northern lights. Every direction, north, south, east, or west, I treasure all of the natural pearls this country has to offer. If you are to visit Norway someday, I know you will love the nature here too. Heading home, we stopped to stretch our legs at Gudvangen Sea Kayak Center, something Tommy and I definitely want to try one day. They say in early spring you can watch the avalanches come down the steep mountains every day. Coffee for me, coffee for you. <laughs> so, were you comfortable last night? Uh, no. <laughs> Fun. Love you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>